Forests do so much for us. They purify our air and water. They protect our soil and our wildlife, and they give us places to hunt and fish and camp and hike with our families. Forests also absorb vast amounts of carbon pollution out of the air, and they are one of the best ways to protect us from global warming. But now power companies, under pressure to reduce carbon pollution and to find alternatives to fossil fuels such as coal, are proposing to burn trees, or what's known as woody biomass, for energy. They argue that because trees can grow back, they are a carbon neutral fuel source. But there are two big reasons why burning trees is not the right solution. First, just like coal, when trees are burned in power plants, the carbon they've absorbed over a long time is released into the air. But because fresh cut wood is nearly half water by weight, a lot of energy goes into boiling off that water before useful energy can be produced. This makes biomass power plants far less efficient than fossil fuel plants, and that means more carbon pollution at the smokestack. Second, trees live for many decades, so cutting down trees to make electricity means we lose out on this future absorption and leave more carbon pollution in the air. If we stop here, burning trees is much worse than burning coal. More pollution at the smokestack and less carbon sucked out of the air. But as energy companies point out, trees can regrow, and younger trees grow faster than older trees, sucking up more carbon. It's tempting to assume that burning trees and replanting them must be better than burning fossil fuels, which just add new carbon to the air. Unfortunately, in most cases, it's worse for a very long time. Imagine two forests. The owner of the first decides to let it keep growing. The trees continue to absorb carbon pollution from the air, and the nearby power plant continues to burn coal. In the second forest, the owner cuts some of his trees and sells them to be burned in the nearby power plant to make electricity. Each year, the carbon that was stored in the trees is released to the air, more than is released from the nearby coal plant. As they regrow, new trees absorb some carbon out of the air. Now let's look at the total carbon pollution in the air. Even after 50 years, the forest that was left standing is doing a lot better. The forest that was cut is catching up. And at some point in the distant future, it will start producing carbon reductions. But can we afford to wait that long? Fortunately, we don't have to choose between burning trees and burning coal to make electricity. We can use more efficient appliances so we waste less energy and resources like wind and solar power that never run out. And there are sources of biomass that decompose quickly or that have to be harvested each year. Using these to make electricity can start reducing pollution almost immediately. Burning trees to make electricity will make global warming worse for decades. Our forests are not fuel. We can make better choices.